Good afternoon. Hi, Phil McPhail here with United Country Lifestyle Properties in Maine. And no, I'm not in Greenland today. That's not the Greenland ice sheet or any icebergs behind me. That's the Penobscot River and the ice is going out of it this week. And I am at the Pasadumkeg River boat landing. Why am I here? Well, we've got a brand new listing here, 1.4 miles north of this boat landing. So if you like the river and you like the outdoors, you're looking for a house in Penobscot County that's affordable, this home's coming in at about 100,000 below the average sales price in the last 12 months in Penobscot County. It's a great little starter home for somebody commuting distance to Bangor and Lincoln. Great property, we're gonna go up and check it out now. We've arrived here at 522 Main Road in Pasadumkeg. Pasadumkeg, that's a, you probably have a hard time spelling it unless you live here. What does it mean? Well, I looked it up online and it's an Abnaki word and I believe it, it said it was quick water or uh, fast flowing water over gravel beds. And that kind of sums up what the Penobscot River behind this house looks like. The uh, town here has got a population of about 356 people. And what really makes it a nice location is we're only, a, we're less than five miles off the I-95 exit in the town of Howland at uh, exit 217. So it's real easy to get here. Be a great home to commute to Bangor, or if you had a job in the Lincoln area, you could commute to Lincoln really easily. So we're located here in Passanumkeg, about 15 miles south of the town of Lincoln on US Route 2, which is Main Road. We're 40 miles from the city of Bangor, or about 270 miles from Boston, and just over a four hour drive. Before we jump on to the land and look this lot over, don't forget like, share, and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget, put on that notification bell down below after you do the subscription, you won't miss any videos. We're located around a lot of outdoor recreational opportunities. Like I said, we're 1.4 miles to the boat landing on the Penobscot River. We're seven miles from the boat landing on Coldstream Pond, one of Central Maine's largest and cleanest lakes for fishing and boating. Sunkays Meadows National Wildlife Refuge. That's an 11,000 acre preserve. It's about 20 miles south of us here in the town of Milford off the of Stud Mill Road. And that brings me to the Stud Mill Road. That's 15 miles from here. And that's access into millions of acres of undeveloped forest land that's um, privately owned, commercially uh, managed for timber production. But it's typically, they allow, the landowners down there allow the public access to that area for hunting, fishing, boating. They, they allow snowmobile trails and ATV, ATV trails in certain areas. Just a really spectacular spot here if you like the outdoors. Like I said, other points of interest, we're 23 miles north of the University of Maine at Orono. That's Maine's largest university and campus and it's division one sports school for certain sports there. There's a, a lot of things you can do, take some night courses, maybe check out a football game or division one hockey game all kinds of things there. And Bangor, 40 miles away, we have the Cross Center in downtown. We've got the Waterfront Concert Series. We've got dozens of restaurants down there, some of the best in, in Northern Maine. So if you're looking for a little culture, it's a half hour's drive from this location. Okay, we're out here at the road entrance of the driveway on 522 Main Road, Pasumkeg. This property, according to the deed, is five rods by 32 rods, which is actually exactly one acre. So let's go take a walk on this lot and look around. And you're probably wondering, what the heck is a rod, right? Well, that's an old English measurement. As a matter of fact, there was a mathematician, I think his name was Edmund or Edward or Edmund Gunter. And back in 1620, he devised, or is credited for devising the surveyor's chain. And that chain was uh, 66 equal lengths, uh, totaling 66 feet. To get back to the chain here, the one rod is 16 and a half feet or about one quarter of a chain. And the reason that, that that's useful is uh, integral measurements of a chain or rods uh, total an acre. So 10 square chains is one acre or 160 square rods, one acre. So we're gonna go around the other side of the house here. And as you can see, we've got, Route 2 is a fairly busy road. It's very well maintained, but we've got a, a heavy layer of trees here. We got some perennial bushes, we got some cedars, we got some spruce trees, plenty of cover, and there's even some crab apples in here. So we're gonna keep going around this side of the house over here. And what we'll see, we got a side entry to the house. But we also have a driven point well. 
and it looks like a dug well, but I've, the seller tells me that there's a driven point in the ground that supplies the water. And this is a town, Pasadumkeg in particular, there's a lot of sand and gravel here in a fairly high water table. And I have seen many homes in this town over the years of selling property that had a driven point and they had plenty of water. Out here, we got a really nice backyard. It's open, the river's down behind us. The property does not go to the river. It's, I think, uh, 32 rods, 532 feet. I think that's about right. 82 and a half by 530 feet, roughly 43,560, as we said earlier, square feet, um, converting those rods and chains and things to an acre. 43,560 square feet, one acre, and that's what we have here. So we look around, you can see some nice pines out here in the back. Very nice lawn. We did find the septic design for this property online at the Department of Health and Human Services. And it's supposed to be right over there. We've seen a mounded area, looks about right. Um, and if you wanna see a copy of that, just ask us and we'll send it to you. So now that we've checked out the yard, let's talk a little bit about this, this home. It's an older home, uh, but it's had a lot of recent renovations and improvements. You can see the exterior, all brand new cedar shakes, stained slate gray, very nice looking home. We've got a lot of new windows, replacement windows in the house, uh, a couple of new doors, really nice. We've got the LP gas heat out here for the cook stove. Over here, you'll see the Dakin uh, heat pump, which does heating and air conditioning for the home. We do have a porch here, and you're probably wondering, Molly, we got quite a lot of space here without a railing. Seller's gonna put the railing on, probably will be done before you get here to see it before this video is even launched but that's going to be done handrails for the steps support here this shed it's a nice building store your yard work here you can store your firewood in here check this out it's a dirt floor it's a nice square building does have an asphalt shingle roof but it's got vinyl siding around the exterior and yeah come on in and take a look it's a wood shed or a storage building Okay, let's go inside and take a look at this, this nice little house. We've got this pressure treated deck like we just talked about. We come into a mud room. There's no heat here, but it is a finished space. If you wanted to leave the door open, you could keep this heated. Nice place for a little bench out here for your shoes. Coming in, we got the big open living space, kitchen, maybe a little lean in dining area. This is a small house, but it does have a lot of, uh, a lot of new renovations. Here's our, our split from our heat pump. We do have an Ashley wood stove in here. There's a, a line chimney it's gone into right here. This is a really large wood stove for this house. Uh, would certainly heat it. You may want to replace this wood stove with something smaller. It doesn't take up as much space. Maybe you just want to get rid of it completely and put in a separate type of heating system. It would certainly give you more living space. It's here, it'll stay, it's all hooked up pretty well and it's sitting on a, a safety mat here away from the wall. As we move through the house, this is the basement, we'll check that out later. We come down in here and we do have a full bathroom on the first floor, tub, shower, sink, and we got a washer hook up in here and the seller is gonna hook that up here shortly. The poses and are here and there's gonna be a new faucet in the uh, shower. So coming out of this room, we come back out into the hallway we come around this little corner and we've got a room here that could be a bedroom if you needed one on the first floor um, all new laminate flooring throughout the whole house and it's very well done walls are all freshly painted and drywall this room is where we have our electric panel and there's a 100 amp panel here it's not a big house doesn't have a lot of power needs but this is where your panel is so let's go on upstairs and check up the second floor Okay, let's go on upstairs and check this out. By the way, this house is about 1,150 square feet on two floors. Um, that's the total of two floors, I should say. Again, we've got all new drywall up here, all new laminate flooring throughout the whole house. We've got four rooms on this floor. Uh, actually, we've got three, three rooms up here. They're varying sizes. And oh, by the way, if you want to see the complete floor plan in detail, so you can study a little closer, measure room distances and all that, um, check out the 3D Matterport virtual tour we're going to have online. It's going to be on the link in the description of the video below for the property listing. So as we look, come out of this room, we come back straight across the hallway. And then there's a really large, long room over here. 
lights are fairly recessed into the ceiling. It's kind of a modified Cape style house, pretty much a full two, two story home. And then all the way around, come back through this doorway and we're over into the third room here on the second floor. Coming out of this last bedroom we were just in, just wanted to point something out to you. Uh, we're advertising this home as a two bedroom home um, because the septic design was done for a two bedroom home. There are, there's potential here for three if not four bedrooms if you wanted to make it that way. In order to utilize it that way you should have a septic design done for a replacement system in case the two bedroom system were to fail. Uh, that's kind of a requirement. We couldn't advertise it as a three or four bedroom without that design. I don't think it'd be a problem here. This, this particular part of the world is a lot of sand and gravel, pretty well drained. We're here in the, during what we call mud season and it isn't even that muddy on this particular location. So keep that in mind as you're looking at this property. Down here in the basement now, and this, like I said, is a fairly old house, but I'm, I'm guessing this home was probably built in the 1950s. We've got a concrete footer down here at the base, uh, dirt floor down here, it's all sand, um, concrete block walls, and we do have a brand new uh, well pump in here and pressure tank, electric water heater. We've got an LP gas uh, direct uh, no vent heater down here if you want some extra heat. There is a clean out over there in the chimney, and I think there's room in here to hook up some sort of central heating. If you want to do something other than the wood stove and the heat pump, you could probably hook something right there. Thanks for taking the tour with us today at 522 Main Road in the town of Pasadumkeg. Let's wrap up the video. The price on this home, $169,000. Last year's taxes were $922. We've got six rooms in this house, two bedrooms, a bath, basement, heat pump. We got the nice shed. We got an acre of land. New siding, new windows, new doors, new newly uh, fixed up roof. Really nice property. And believe it or not, this home is priced a lot less than the average home in Penobscot County is today. Give me a call, 800-286-6164. If you got any questions, we'll send you some more information on the home, or you can schedule a time to come up here and take a look at it with me.